So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and then type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. We're gonna make a backup of our registry. So you're gonna click on file and then click on export. And then you can just save it to your desktop. Just type in reg backup and click on save. Now, once you've done that, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first we're gonna expand HC current user and then we're gonna expand software. And then we're gonna expand Microsoft. And then we're gonna scroll down and expand Windows. And then you wanna expand current version. And then you wanna scroll down and expand Explorer. And now you wanna scroll down and then click on user shell folders. Now once we're on here, you should have something that's called B7B EDE81. In my case, I do not have it, but you might have it. It should look something like this. If you do not have it, then we're gonna create it. I'm gonna leave this down below in the description. So you wanna right click, click on new, and then click on string value. Now I'm gonna go back to the thing. And now I'm just gonna copy this, which I'll leave down below in the description, and you wanna name it. So right click on a new value one, click on rename, and then paste this in. Now once you've done that, you wanna double click again, and you wanna change the value data to the second one right here, which I've got right here. So copy this, paste it right here, click on okay. And now you wanna restart your computer, and then that's fixed the problem. 